Okay. Uh, what knuckles are you supposed to punch with? As many as possible. You don't want to hit with just one knuckle. Mike Tyson hit Mitch Green with this knuckle and this thing broke. When this one breaks or this one breaks, you've got to get surgery. Uh, if you hit somebody with just this knuckle, it's gone. It's coming off. It's not even anchored. Uh, the boxer's fracture is right here from people hitting with just these two knuckles. So there's a problem with this two knuckle landing endangering the thumb and either one of these knuckles that they strike by themselves. And there's a problem with the three knuckle landing that you might just shave these two off. Uh, boxers tend to aim with the middle knuckle. You can see I've done a lot of that and you can also see I can't hit very hard with my left hand because this is the knuckle that's enlarged. Um, realistically you want to try to go for a three knuckle landing either by aiming with the middle knuckle or aiming with this. You can practice pressing your fists against hard surfaces to feel how it acts on impact. When you go with a three knuckle landing, you're really, uh, when you practice this on the bag, you're trying to roll towards that middle knuckle and dig with that, okay? This feels awkward. This feels better, but that can break too. You know, there's, it just wasn't designed for punching, okay? So we can do the best we can do. Uh, for self-defense, any boxer I train, I'd rather see them just use their open hand, okay? Either they're a very valuable guy that doesn't need to have his hands busted up, or there's somebody that can hit so hard that maybe they kill a person, okay? And we don't want that either. So the other thing is most guys can't punch hard or quick when they start out because they tense their muscles up. And part of that comes from making a fist. So you want to start out just slapping the bag like this. This gets you practice for actually going for the eyes and for hitting them hard in the chest or the chin. So practice moving around with touching drills just so you know when you can touch something and when you can't. And then advance that to these slapping drills. That will help you get your timing down. Um, the basic one too in boxing is you step forward and you hit the bag when your foot hits the floor and your weight goes into the bag. If you hit the bag first and your foot's still up here, it's hung up. If your foot hits the floor first, it's just an arm punch. So it takes a lot of work to make this natural. The standard jab like this to the chin, that's a good job. The power jab, most people teach it as the first punch, that gets you knocked out by a cross. It comes right down like this. So what you want to do is throw a blind jab first, which on the street could just be this. It could just be poking at his eyes. Uh, and with boxing, it's with this. It's with the front of the glove. This gets you in, then this gets you in punch. So I'm going here, here. I use a three-quarter fist there and three-quarter fist here. There's a problem with this. These bags will buckle and jam this very sensitive nerve. Okay? And you don't want to beat these small knuckles up because they don't hold very well. Uh, turning it all the way over like this, eventually the bag will buckle and it'll sprain this. That's why you wear wraps so you develop that strength while you're punching. Uh, we want Palm down right here. That's basically going to the chin. We want the three-quarter turn when we're going higher. There's other special, you know, it's five or six different ways to hold your fist. But if you could basically just poke, slap, punch at this three-quarter fist angle, okay, and power punch with this turned over punch, okay, then that's, that's pretty good. With the number two, the right hand, most people will have a tendency to get too high, especially if they're already a tall guy. If you look at where I'm at now, my weight's forward. If he's got a knife, well, I'm getting my guts ripped out. If he's a stocky, strong guy, and he's just discovered that I can punch, 
Well, now he's in here on my waist. Uh, what I recommend is a right hand that uh, our guy Oliver is very good with. And it's not the most powerful right hand. You sink the rear knee. Okay, so I jabbed. And now instead of doing this, I'm doing this. If I drop this knee at the same time I hit that, that weight actually goes into the punch. Okay? And it makes it real good if it's a body punch because the weight's sinking in. It's still a better than nothing transfer if you're going up top. The important thing is, is it keeps your center of gravity lower than his because you're really, as a boxer, defending yourself on the street. The main thing you're worried about is the clinch because now you're not a boxer, you're just a, a bad wrestler. All right, stop.